everybody, it's Stephanie Grams, and I am going to show you how to help your customer prepare their order for a baby clothes uh, quilt. It's not the kind that you cut into little squares. This, this quilt is rather large, and it's when you take the entire baby outfit and you sew that onto the quilt. And so, you know, there's a lot of tutorials out there on YouTube by different creators that show all different ways to make this type of quilt. Um, if you like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, you'll see how I actually process and create this quilt. Um, everybody does their own thing and there's no right or wrong way um, as long as you do it, do it nicely, right? <laughs> so um, the point of this video though is to help you help your customer prepare for the ordering process. Um, by now, your customer would have reached out and asked you if you could do this. Um, if you are like some of my students where this is something that they, they are going to offer, but they don't have an actual order yet, this, this is very good way. This is like a very good way to practice this ahead of time. Um, be your own customer. Go to the thrift store, pick out some cute baby clothes, uh, ruminant fabric, things like that, and um, make your own quilt. <laughs> then you can gift it if you don't want to keep it. All right, so this particular order um, is for a, a baby boy, and he, his mama, and I put together the items. And I'm just going to hold them up for you and explain as I go. All right, so this baby blanket... All right, and this little tiny outfit, here's the pants, isn't this cute? And this was the matching shirt, and you can see it's very thick and bulky. Um, these will be cut into squares as needed and put throughout the quilt, and you can watch this whole process take place on my YouTube channel. Just look up Sewing Memories and you'll find me. All right, and then I have some extra minky, this will be used in the um, quilt also. And let's see here. That is not part of the quilt. I will show you how we labeled these. This actually goes with one of the outfits in here. So this, this bib will actually, I'll, I'll snip off these um, tags, but the entire bib is going to be sewn flat onto the quilt. All right, so. This is not for the quilt. All right, here we go. What we did is we, the the mom and I went over the clothes that she had in baby blankets and she had more than this, but it took a little while to narrow it down. And what we did on the bag is we labeled it. And this one says quilt dash as needed. So basically I can do what I want with this fabric. I can cut this into pieces as needed or use, um, use it however is needed for her quilt. She also ordered a quite large stuffed monkey. And so I'll show you that particular monkey that I'm going to make also. This one says quilt and use as needed. And there's a variety of clothes in here. So we, sh we have plenty of clothes and I'm just going to keep on showing you what we have. So each baggie is labeled. This is quilt and this is leave whole. And so these outfits we is these outfits will be actually sewn as an entire outfit. I won't cut anything or take anything away from these. Now, if the tag is sticking out, I might just go ahead and glue the tags down. And this will make more sense if you follow along and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the series. And we have another bag. This bag says for the monkey, and then this is the vest. So the monkey will be made out of this outfit and this vest. And if I need extra fabric, I can pull it from those other as needed bags. All right. <clears throat> this bag says for the quilt and leave these whole. And that just means, like I said earlier, 
The outfits will be pressed and laid flat onto the top as a quilt. And before I do any of the sewing, I take pictures so my customer can tell me if she likes it on the, the particular backing um, or the layout. She can have it uh, moved around as needed. We have several of these large gallon bags. This says quilt and it says leave whole. This one is quilt and it says cut up as needed. So some of the quilt blocks will be cut into smaller blocks sewn together. If um, I'm going to give my customer the option if, so you know when you have the whole outfits, right? And you want that whole outfit sewn on one square of fabric. Um, not everybody chooses that. So. This customer, when she wants, you know, these cut up as needed, I'm going to cut these into squares, make a quilt design for the larger square. <laughs> Again, it'll make more sense as we go along. But this is cut up as needed. And as I, as I open one bag and follow the directions on that as needed, it all goes back into that bag before I open another bag. So remember that it's really important if you have a lot of fabric, a lot of clothing that your customer has given you, um, keep them in the bags as they're labeled <laughs> so you don't have any problems. All right, and this is for a birth stat bunny. This particular customer already has a birth stat elephant and teddy bear. And then um, she wanted a rabbit made out of his baby blanket. So this will be a smaller little rabbit. All right, and this is another bag that says leave whole. So these outfits will be left as whole pieces. And this one is quilt cut as needed. So again, the cut as needed will be incorporated into the large stuffed monkey that she wants and it will be incorporated into the baby keepsake blanket which is more like a sentimental item um, if you've taken any of my classes you'll know the difference between a keepsake um, memory item and sentimental they're a lot of times they're interchanged and used uh, but they mean different things um, so definitely keep that in mind and if you're interested, you can go to sopreneur.com, get on the free newsletter, and I give some information there for your business. And if you want a keepsake made, then you just reach out to me wherever you see this video, and we will get in contact with one another. You can go to stephaniegrams.com and contact me, or the main website, memorybearsandkeepsakes.com. Make sure you see my face. I'm Stephanie Grams. Some people get me mistaked with, uh, confused with other memory bear makers and you don't, you don't want that. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so that's how we label it. We just use these big bags. Any remnants left will go back into this original bag. You know, if I don't use all of these cut as needed, they're going to go back in this bag as, as they are grouped because this customer grouped the clothes together to create a nice looking quilt block. And I was with the customer. I walked her through grouping together the clothes and deciding if she wanted them to be left whole, made into a stuffed animal or um, cut as needed. And again, cut as needed. Um, she's going to see these in her quilt. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I hope you follow along. Reach out if you have any questions and um, be sure to like and subscribe here on YouTube. It's Sewing Memories on YouTube. Bye guys.